Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a pampering spa day at home. I love doing these types of videos. They're something that I've been doing on my channel for a really long time, but I don't get a chance to do this kind of stuff as much. And I had a free hour the other day, so this will be the second bath, I think, that I take in this bathtub since we moved in. I take showers every day, but a nice soak is a little hard to come by. But even if you can carve out a little bit of time once a month and turn your environment into a spa for a fraction of what it would cost to actually go to a spa, you can make your environment feel like it. So I'm gonna start with the herbal waters. Now I've made fruit infused waters before, but today we're kind of changing it up with herbal waters and I'm just using things from the garden. So I have basil, I have sage, and I have tons and tons of rosemary. So I have my little buddy Ozzy here. He is a rescue puppy we adopted a few weeks back. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen some of my Instagram stories with him. But I haven't done an official introduction on YouTube yet. So he's hanging with me a lot these days and he will be in a lot more of my videos. For the sake of this video, I decided to share a few different herbal water choices that I really like. So we're actually gonna be making four. So on the left side of the screen, top left, we have orange and rosemary. So it's gonna be orange and rosemary infused water. Then on the top right, we have peaches and sage. That one was so good. The bottom left, we have strawberries and basil. And then we have on the bottom right, blueberries and rosemary. And you can also add a little bit of lavender if you have it in there as well. When you go to really nice spas, they often have herbal waters or infused water. So by having this while you're having a bath or a shower, it kind of gives it that spa feel. Even if you aren't gonna do a spa day, herbal waters are really great for get togethers or bridal showers, baby showers. They're something that a lot of people really enjoy. So next we are making lavender and eucalyptus hot towels. I wouldn't normally make this many hot towels just for me, but I wanted to show you for the sake of this video. I'm adding a cup and a half of water to the bottom of the slow cooker, about five or six drops of eucalyptus, and five or six drops of lavender essential oil. Then I have rolled up face towels that I'm gonna put in there, and I'm gonna put another cup and a half of water over that. So you're gonna put the top on the slow cooker, turn it on to medium or high heat, depending on how soon you want them. And these are great for like a girl's spa night in. You have nice hot towels. Um, so next I'm preparing the scrub and the masks that I'm gonna be using for this treatment. One scrub that I really like is equal parts coffee, coconut oil, and granulated sugar. This makes for a really great body scrub, so I'm prepping that. I have this clay mask right now and I've been meaning to try it, so I'm actually just mixing it with some avocado oil, equal parts clay mask and avocado oil for a little bit more of a hydrating mask. So whenever I do a spa day, I try to pick a mask that is appropriate for how my skin is feeling in the moment. There are so many different masks out there, to be honest. I don't even have one favorite. I just go based on my skin's needs. If I'm noticing some hyperpigmentation, I'll go for a brightening mask. If I'm feeling dry, I'll go for a mask that is going to hydrate and nourish. If I'm feeling oily, I'll go for maybe a clay mask that doesn't have oil. So try to choose a mask that's appropriate for your skin type. So now that I've done all the prep work, I'm gonna start my treatment. If you have a group doing facials, you can bring out all the towels or you can just have one hot towel for yourself. Just run a hand towel under really hot water. And you wanna air it out so that it's not too hot. And once it feels like a good temperature to put on your skin, you can put it on your skin and the steam will open up your pores. It smells really nice and relaxing because it has the lavender and eucalyptus. And then I'm going to cleanse and exfoliate my skin with my Clarisonic brush. Next, I'm applying the mask after I've cleansed my skin, and this is before I enter in the bath, so I'm gonna keep this on while I take a bath, but you can also apply a mask if you just have a shower and you don't have a bath. Put a mask on before you go in the shower, bring your drink in the shower with you, and just enjoy a nice warm shower, and you can even spray some eucalyptus in your shower or some lavender. 
I have a facial steamer machine that I bought a while back which I absolutely love but you can just take hot tea water and put it into a large bowl and just have your face just above the bowl. You can put herbs in there as well and that's a great way to open up your pores while you have the mask on. So now I'm going to get in the bath and I'm going to be using some rose bubble bath. A lot of the things you see here I've made on my channel. If you want to find out how to make the bath tray and the candle, I made those in my upcycle video and then I also made the bath salts in a previous video. So I will link those. So unfortunately this bath only lasted about 18 minutes but I did get a nice good soak before I realized I was running out of time and I had to get out. I made sure to take off the face mask and then I also jumped in the shower for just a few seconds on cold and used my scrub so the caffeine kind of woke me up. So if you're doing a daytime spa treatment you can do that. If it's nighttime you might want to just relax and chill and go to bed so you might want to skip the cold shower part. But a cold shower can really make your hair look shiny, it can make your skin look really healthy and then when you're using that with the caffeine scrub it's a nice kind of wake up call for your skin. And then I'm going to put a little bit of moisturizer on. The moisturizer that I like is the coconut moisturizer from The Body Shop. So I'm just going to be using a little bit of that on my skin so it doesn't feel dry. And that completes my spa day for today. Hopefully this gave you some ideas and you have a spa day for yourself. And I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye.